In this video, we'll be looking at the structure of mitochondria. Now, as you would know from previous studies, mitochondria is a site of aerobic respiration in the cell. So what happens in respiration is that glucose is broken down in the cytoplasm around it, and then the substrate is transported into the mitochondria for further processing to release ATP. Before we actually go into the biochemical process of it, uh, we'll have a look at the structure first so that we know what we're talking about when we uh, look at the different stages of respiration. First of all, it's important to know that mitochondria is a double membrane structure, a double membrane organelle. So first of all, we will have the outer membrane, which surrounds everything. And of course, this function of the outer membrane is compartmentalization. Remember that it's important to sometimes keep things in different environments because the uh, enzymes or proteins or other chemicals within these different areas may interact uh, and you might not actually want that happening. So that separates the cytoplasm with the inner space of the mitochondria. That's the outer membrane and like I said it's a double membrane so of course we have the inner membrane. Now the inner membrane can be folded to form what we call cristae which are these uh, structures here. The inner membrane holds uh, different types of proteins, for example, electron carriers and uh, special enzymes that facilitate respiration. And that's the key function of it. As for the cristae, is so that we can increase the surface area of the inner membrane so we can hold more uh, electron carriers and enzymes so we can um, make ATP even quicker. Now just to elaborate a little bit more, you can see here it says it contains proteins for electron transport chain. Now if you have studied uh, photosynthesis already before respiration, you would have come across uh, this uh, before already. And it's the key mechanism or structure that produces ATP. And it contains electron carriers and uh, an enzyme called ATP synthase. As the name implies, it makes ATP. And as for this side, uh, you see it's increasing surface area for oxidative phosphorylation. And that is the final stage of respiration that actually uh, contains the electron transport chain in order to do the mass production of ATP. And we will come onto that in another video. And of course, if we have the outer membrane and inner membrane, the space in between is what we call the intermembrane space. Although it seems like it's just an empty space between two different membranes, uh, it's actually really important because at, in the final stage of respiration, like this one, uh, they pump the protons into this space and without this part here, uh, we won't be able to have a proton concentration gradient uh, to actually make ATP. So it relies on this space here to store the protons in order for ATP to be produced. Now finally we have the matrix which is the liquid that fills up the whole uh, mitochondria there. It's really important because two major parts of respiration occurs in this uh, area which is the uh, link reaction and the Krebs cycle and it contains the enzymes to catalyze those two reactions. And apart from that it also contains mitochondrial DNA of course uh, to actually make these enzymes for respiration. Keeping in mind that mitochondria used to be a bacteria and it's just very early on uh, when life was just formed that our cells uh, absorbed this bacteria and recognized this as uh, beneficial for us and we have this symbiotic relationship and eventually through evolution it just became part of our cell. And if you're interested, especially in evolution, uh, we have something called the mitochondrial Eve. So what they did was they sequenced the mitochondrial DNA from everyone uh, and they found out a couple of interesting things. Number one, our mitochondria is a direct copy, in a, is an exact copy uh, as our, of our mothers. So we basically get exactly the same mitochondria from, uh, from her. They use that trait and traced it, uh, all of our mitochondrial DNA and we found out that we are all linked to one single lady uh, that was found um, to be originated from Africa and we call them mitochondrial Eve. And there you have it, this is the structure of mitochondria and in the next video we'll be looking at the detailed process of respiration.